example. That is a clip, my friends, showing the impact of a therapy dog that it can have on an autistic child. The clip was from the nonprofit organization Good Dog Autism Companions that trains and pairs dogs with families. Now, the cost to train the dogs can be very costly, but there is a local fundraiser happening that can help raise much needed funds for the organization. The fundraiser is taking place at Luca Restaurant. We're going to get a preview of what Chef Ian McBride, you see him right now. He's in the kitchen. He's cooking stuff up. We'll visit with him in just a bit. But first, though, joining me now is Kristen Siriani, and she is one of the organizers of the fundraiser and also a mom of an autistic son who has a therapy dog. This is Hope joining us as well, and she's from Good Dog Autism Companions. Great to have both of you here. Oh, we're happy to be here. Thank yes. you. Yeah, so, so tell us a little more about Good Dog Autism Companions. What exactly are they? So um, I have a son with autism, and when we were thinking about kind of trying to think outside the box and think what we could do to basically help get kind of reintegrated in the community, um, I reached out to my brother-in-law who uh, trains service dogs, and he put me in contact um, with Good Dog Autism. And from there, it's been just an amazing experience so far. Hope, come. Hi, Hope. Hope, hope is are beautiful. Hope, and Hope is, uh, is rather young, too, right? Is this Hope that we're looking at, too? It's not. So these are okay. service dogs that have been for all the other children that um, Good Dog Autism has helped. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just an amazing organization. And she's really great at just helping to lead you through the process, um, what to expect. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we're out in the public, it's really hard for people to kind of understand some of the movements our kids have and things like that. And so sometimes people stare and things like that. But when when they see the service dog and they see good dog autism mm -hmm. it just kind of it makes sense and yeah. people get a smile on their face and instead of the kind of awkward stares trying to figure out huh, what's going on here yeah and so tell me what is the difference between having a service dog like hope right here versus getting a dog from the pound or from a breeder well the difference is going to be so she she's only one so she's very young she's not fully trained yet she's in training but um, what they're going to do is they're going to be able to provide like pressure when they were talking in the last segment mm -hmm. about like weighted blankets. They're really great to help regulate kids. Um, it's going to help the public aware of what's going on with mm -hmm. the kiddos. Um, and so they'll have specific commands that are targeted just to that child. Wow. Um, so for my son, it helps with anxiety. She can do different commands like lay on and things like that to provide um, you know, pressure. And then he also gets to help care for her. And so that's a big part in the house. You know, um, He feels a big sense of pride yeah. to be able to help feed her and pick up after her and things that things that I don't really care for doing he yeah. loves to do <laughs> so literally it's a companion yes it's a companion and the unconditional love is just amazing that's beautiful so yeah. tell us about the process though how does one get a dog like this what's the weight what's the cost um, so the weight is typically around two years but in that time you're really doing a lot of things to prepare so it doesn't seem as long um, but you'll call up um, with good dog autism you would speak with Laura Laura is also a mom of a son with autism Autism. Mm -hmm. um, and basically she goes over a whole uh, listens to you know your child what they're like what their needs might be and then let you know if it's something that she thinks would be appropriate great and we actually have some pictures too of your son with hope as well just so you guys can understand the relationship and the bond that the children develop with oh, these yeah, pets and how much her. they really mean to them and and there's a fundraiser too to help inc um, raise some of these costs so other people can get dogs just like your son and hope yeah, so for the organization, it typically costs about $26,000 for them to fully train each dog. Yeah. Um, so of that, they come up with half of it. They come up with the 13000 and then the families are responsible to fundraise the rest. Um, and Luca reached out to us last year and really wanted to help um, my son Braden get his service dog. Mm -hmm. um, and then this year they reached out again and they just said, you know, this is such a good organization, this is such a good cause mm -hmm. that we'd really like to step up and help out again. How fantastic. So wh when is this event? So it's April 24th um, and the tickets are $50 and with that you get a four course meal, um, you get wine, you also get entered into a raffle um, and there's a bunch of raffle prizes. And Ian's an amazing chef so you will not be disappointed with the food. Oh no kidding <laughs> yeah. I know I can tell right now because I can smell it right here in studio. What a fantastic opportunity. Go out have a great meal and you're raising money for a very, and 100%, very important cause. 100% is going to good dog autism. 100% wow that's pretty rare that you hear that. Yes. So thank you so much. Thank you. And, and everyone we're going to walk on over to the kitchen right now. We're going to check in with Chef McBride because he's currently whipping up
up some of that uh, some of that possible menu items that you're going to be enjoying when you go on over. So I'm going to step on over Hope here. Hey, puppy. Good job. Hi, Chef. How are you doing? Well, how are you? Great. Thank you so much for joining us. So tell us, Thank what you. exactly is it that you're creating here? Uh, this is going to be one of the courses at the Good Dog Dinner. Um, it's a tea smoked duck breast with some grilled broccolis um, and a rhubarb and oh, wow. ginger vinaigrette. Um, <laughs> So we no started. No wonder why this smells fantastic. My <laughs> goodness, duck breast, wonderful. Okay, so I'm sorry. How did you um, start this? I marinated the duck breasts overnight in a little green onion and orange zest mm -hmm. with some Szechuan peppercorn, and then to smoke it, you kind of get a nice sear on it first. Okay. Then in the wok, I've got uh, more Szechuan peppercorns, brown sugar, dried orange zest, uh, black tea leaves, rice, cinnamon. So you just. Turn that up. And that looks really pretty on the plate too, by the way. I can imagine just how good it tastes, but that's that's a really nice uh, array of texture and color right there. So you and put that aromas. in the smoker. Yeah, and yeah. great aromas, I know. Um, and yeah, put that in the smoker. It takes about six or seven minutes in the smoker to get it to a nice mid-rare. Um, and then the vinaigrette is just some uh, right rhubarb, ginger, strawberries, and we just kind of cook that down to a syrup and then emulsify it with a little bit of oil. And rhubarb, that's not something you typically see a lot of people cook with. No, no, maybe yeah. not savory. You see a lot of, you know, strawberry rhubarb pie, that kind yeah. of thing. Well, but. I love strawberry rhubarb. All right, that's the only thing I know of with rhubarb, but this is awesome. So you actually made a vinaigrette with it. Yeah, it's got a little okay. bit of pickled rhubarb in it, and then Delicious. we'll just really, if you want, you just can just drizzle it over the duck. Yeah, I yes, can you help. Meant. Okay, so how much? Should I should I be uh, generous? Just a little bit. Just a little mm, bit. Be a little more generous. Okay, I can be a little more generous with that. You got it. The more, the merrier for me. That's what I always Perfect. say. Perfect. Okay, fantastic. And I've got some uh, sunchoke chips. We're gonna. Sprinkle over and there. And what type of chips are these? Sunchokes so, oh, or wait, a Jerusalem a artichoke. It's um, kind of like the root Seriously? of a, a flower Man. similar to a sunflower. Yeah. No Hope kidding. Okay. Oh, oh my. Oh, I could eat that all day. That's fantastic. Okay, I will. I'll have another one. Do you mind if I dip this into the help yourself into the vinaigrette? Delightful. This is great. So why is it important that restaurants get involved? Um, as, as was mentioned, Luca did this before. And then yeah, he came back for um, the second year. well, uh, Brain's dad, Dominic, was our general manager at one point, and now he's come back as our director of operations. So mm -hmm. it was a real close connection there. Mm -hmm. um, and then at the same time, just a, a good organization to help out. Um, something a little different, um, a small, something a little more grassroots, kind of smaller organizations. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes those get a little bit forgotten with the bigger charities that get all the press. So. Mm -hmm. no, they Really it's do. And this, to this help is these such, little ones out. This is such a special um, cause in itself, too. I mean, especially when you see the connection that uh, that the young boy and his dog have to know that they Absolutely. can help children so much. Why wouldn't you come out to Luca and have an amazing meal like this? You're going to go anyway, you know it, right? But you get the wine, and then 100% the of the proceeds go to this very important cause. Awesome. This is delightful. Chef, thank you so much. Thank you. And I want to know again, when is the event so our viewers can come out, they can enjoy amazing fare such as this? Uh, and Sunday, a April 24th. So when is it? I'm sorry. A April 24th. April 24th. Come on in, everybody. 6 p.m. Luca Restaurant and Bar. Uh, that's at 1615 J Street. If you don't know where it's at, of course, I'm, I'm sure you've been. It's such an amazing restaurant. And uh, hey, Kristen, once again, where can people go to get those tickets so they can be a part of this? Um, so there's goodluckydog.com brownpapertickets.com okay. um, or they can go to Brown Paper Tickets and search for Luca. Either way they can go and that's where they can get their tickets. And where can our viewers too go so they can get more information about the Good Dog Autism Companions? They can they can just Google Good, Good, Good Dog Autism Companions or they can go on Facebook. Um, they really reach out quite a bit that way so you can watch the puppies getting chosen and, and their journeys. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh how much fun. Okay thank you guys so much. Thank you again thank you. Chef McBride. Wonderful. Thank you Hope. You can't see her. She's down here in the kitchen. She's adorable. <laughs>